Okay, now ready? This is how you deep hit an avocado. I learned it on TikTok. <laughs> All I did was take my thumb and push it through from the back. This one is very soft and perfect, so that happened. This is my therapy. This is how I get my time to myself. This is the only time I have to myself is when I job. Hi, I'm Melissa Benishai, CEO of Baked by Melissa. You probably know me for my cupcakes, but on TikTok, I'm known for my salads. Today we're making my kale cob. I'm gonna show you how. The first thing you're gonna need are shallots. These happen to be bigger shallots. I like to cut them in half and then just slice them into thin ribbons. They separate for you because they're in the onion family. I'm gonna put the shallots into this medium-sized bowl, then I'm going to get them fully coated in flour, season them with salt and pepper. The flour is going to help make them super crispy for the topping of the salad. I like to use avocado oil when I'm frying or using high heat. I need to be patient. You could take it off now if you want, but I'm crazy. I live my life on the edge. They could be browner, but they're good. They'd be crunchy like this. I'm playing with them too much. I just have so much fun zhuzhing. They're ready, I'm gonna take them off. Tongs are great for this. Spread them out. Let them dry off a bit. The base of the kale cob is kale. And so what we're gonna do is take some kale. First thing you do is de-vein the kale, de-stem the kale. I'm not a classically trained chef or anything like that. I just love food. And I get asked whether or not I massage my kale on the regular. I don't, I don't believe in massaging vegetables. I cut them very fine. I'm focused on the perfect bite every step of the way and the way I do it. I don't think it's necessary to massage my cow, but you can massage your cow. I think the reason I choose to cut it is because I like to leave my leaves whole. Because when you leave your leaves whole with kale, this is my kale strategy, then you could layer, you layer your cow, and then, I. but I just, bunch it and roll it, because the more kale you could get in each cubic inch, the quicker you can chop it. That's, I'm efficient. I'm a working mom, CEO. I like to be efficient with my chopping time. Very slow. Now it starts to get easier. And you're just making as thin a ribbon as you can. Now you just go the other way. Doesn't have to be, if you have aggression, you could, you know, go crazy. You could stop here, but if you're like me and you enjoy the process, this is my therapy. This is how I get my time to myself. This is the only time I have to myself is when I job. It's not even for myself, it's for TikTok. It's fine. So this is what you're going for. There is no need to massage that. It's like already chewed for you. <laughs> you wind up consuming a lot more like greens when you chop it this way too. Because think about it, if you ripped it, the bowl would almost be full right now. This way you're getting so many vitamins and nutrients. Now we're gonna do the green onions. These are already cleaned, very important. Look, it, it looks like Easter basket grass. Delicious grass. So now we have our tomatoes, our chicken breasts, fresh mutts, avocado. Okay, now ready? This is how you deep hit an avocado. I learned it on TikTok. <laughs> All I did was take my thumb and push it through from the back. This one is very soft and perfect, so that happened.
We're going to chop them all up and add it to the kale cob. Add some lemon juice to keep it green. And gently salt it. It's very important that everything you add is all the same size-ish. So, working on make them small. And you could buy your own pre-cooked chicken breast for the salad because it makes it so much easier, but you could also make your own. Oh yeah. Equally as important to the salad is the dressing. This is my miso vinaigrette. People don't know this. This, these are great if you know how to use them. That's how you use them. Every great dressing has a base of lemon juice, olive oil, and then I usually add a vinegar. Today we're doing red wine vinegar, white miso paste, and nutritional yeast, which makes it creamy without cream. Garlic powder, dried oregano, salt, don't be shy. This is a crucial step. It's perfect. I'm gonna add the dressing to the salad, toss it up. You'll know it's completely incorporated when all of your greens are fully coated with the dressing. No dry pieces. This one looks pretty coated. Oh, I found a dry one. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. I could eat it all day. I could chop it all day. I, I just love it. Ready to serve it and top with our crispy shallots. This salad is the type of salad you crave. It's healthy, but also delicious. It's crunchy. It's satisfying. You have the crunchy shallots and kale and fresh mozzarella. I'm sure it comes as no surprise that I'm obsessed with the perfect bite. Just like my bite-sized cupcakes, this salad gives you the perfect ratio of flavors every time. If you want this recipe, you can go to delish.com. And for all of my recipes, or to purchase bite-sized cupcakes, go to bakedbymelissa.com.